This chapter will focus on creating a KPI state. In short, a KPI state is used to add more context to a KPI. It defines a range of values that are considered good, bad, high, low, etc. By defining a state, it will streamline the KPI visualization activity performed by the dashboard designer. For example, a gauge would automatically create a range and a chart would create a strip line for each state defined in the KPI. The sample data that we'll be using in this tutorial is derived from our sample database called Sonatica 2010. First, let's start by copying an existing KPI. Let's rename the KPI so we can associate this KPI with this tutorial for future reference. It's important to understand the KPI before we can continue this tutorial. This KPI represents the year-to-date downloads. To give the KPI more context, we need to have goals to reach. For example, we should have the number of downloads we want to achieve by the end of the year. With that in mind, let's use states to help visualize achieving this goal. Let's start by editing this KPI we created. Now move to the Measures and States tab. Now we need to add a new state group by doing the following. Let's give the group a name. Next, click here to add a new state. Let's edit this state by giving it a meaningful name and some values, like so. We're going to add another state. Finally, let's add one to cover a state that reaches and or goes beyond that goal. Now, if you're not happy with one of the states, simply click on the state and click here. The states are good, so we will click on finish to close the dialog. If you need to edit the state group, click here. If you need to remove the state group, click here. We're good, so let's preview the KPI now. Note that because the preferred visualization has been set to a gauge, the states will show up as ranges. We're done here, so let's check it in for use by the dashboard designer. This concludes our tutorial in creating states for a KPI.